Okay, this is a continuation of my work with Dr. Stifler's SEC Exciter circuit. And I've got a highly modified version running here, and you can see the LEDs there blazingly bright. Now, I was thinking the other day about how the Exciter works, and it's basically an oscillator. Now, the other device I'm interested in is the Jewel Thief, and that's also an oscillator. So I thought, I wonder if I could incorporate some of the good things from the Jewel Thief into the SEC Exciter circuit. And I have done. So, so what I've done is I've uh, added a toroid coil. Now L1 is, di is wound directly onto the coil and there's also two secondary coils wound on there as well. Now S1 is wound by filer with L1, that's here. And this part here of the coil, that's S2. Now all these LEDs are being lit by the secondary coils. They're not being lit at all by the uh, direct excitation from the uh, exciter circuit, which would normally be coming from this uh, choke here, which is a 22 microhenry choke. Now that is actually exciting this tray here. I can show you that with my detector. It's just an LED with an Avramenko plug. But hold that there, you can see. Now this tray here is being excited by uh, one of the secondary coils. And these trays are being excited by the secondary coils as well. They're being lit, well, they're being excited from the back end of these uh, Avramenko plug strings. Now, the circuit's drawing 49.6 uh, milliamps. One other thing I'd like to show you as well is on the 22 microhenry choke, I've wound, uh, I think it's five turns of 26 uh, SWG uh, Maguire, and that's lighting this LED up as well. So that's something else to look into. Now, this is drawing 49 uh, milliamps with this uh, capacitor I've got here. Now if I change that capacitor value, I can't get it to draw any more than that using that cap. But if I change the cap here, it changes the frequency of the oscillator. And now I can draw more, more current. Now, I can actually light a, a neon on the back end of these LEDs. So if I take those leads off the trays, and I attach them to a neon. It's quite hard to do with one hand. And if I insert the uh, slug into that, hopefully that will come on. Oh well, yeah, I'm going to take the uh, lead from uh, the 22 microhenry choke off that tray and then that might do something there we go now the interesting thing here is it's actually lighting both sides of the neon now with the normal exciter i can only light one side of the neon now this is lighting both of them and it's blazingly bright and that's on the back end of those leds this is all from the secondary uh, coils so there's no uh, direct excitation at all from uh, the 22 microhenry choke. Now, I've made a circuit diagram to show you what I've been doing. I'll scan it slowly so you can see. Thanks for watching.